Hi guys, Dahlia here, welcome to my channel. Today in Australia, it is the first day of November. That means the first day of the Australian NaNoWriMo. I have never done NaNoWriMo before and I have watched people do it for years and it looks really exciting but I never thought I had the time. So this is going to be pretty much a day by day flow of my writing and my participation and we'll see if I actually ever get to 50,000 words. I <laughs> I decided to do NaNoWriMo uh, about three days before today and I outlined a story in those three days and just started writing this morning. So, so far I've probably got about a thousand words already and I guess it was pretty easy to get into it but the first act is always the easiest to write for me. And also you're going to be seeing this at the end of November because this is a secret. No one knows that I'm actually doing NaNoWriMo. So in Australia we're pretty lucky because in America you guys have to deal with Thanksgiving Day and all that sort of stuff and also it's freezing cold over there during this time of year but in Australia it is spring and it's beautiful and it's warm and there is so much inspiration because outside is green and gorgeous and all the garden is growing and the fruit is growing and I'm so excited. Oh, so I realized that I never even said what the story is about. So the idea of this story that I'm writing is a girl grew up in kind of like a religious commune sort of thing and uh, it's dystopian and it's set in a different time where this is the way that things are run and there is no modern day. So she grew up in this commune and it's quite controlling and quite abusive and there's lots of bad things going on underneath it all. But the Dominion are the leaders the council members for the entire commune and they get to say what happens and what doesn't so if um, someone acts poorly then they are excommunicated and the commune is surrounded in massive high fences and the excommunicated members get to be shoved out into the wild to fend for themselves but anyway this girl let's get back to the girl um she her mother and sibling were excommunicated when she was a baby and she's never heard anything about them or never even known they existed. You don't talk about excommunicated members. But then one day someone says to her, where do you think your family is? How do you think you got here? And she decides to go looking around her house to see if she can find anything that could give away something to do with her family. She lives with her father in the commune and he obviously hasn't said anything because he's a pastor for the local church and if he gets, uh, if he says anything to her about her mother and her sibling then he will get excommunicated as well. So she ends up finding some evidence in the house hidden away that her mother is like hidden under the floorboards and um, this sparks a whole revolution in her and she finds out that there is actually an uprising forming um, to promote just what the Dominion are doing to the people in the commune because obviously they are taking their money they're doing all sorts of really terrible things and um, they want to expose them to the people so the people can um, end up being free so I guess this girl kind of has to decide whether she is <laughs> whether she's brainwashed or not enough to go against the Dominion and whether she wants to make the Dominion happy or whether she wants to see her mother or potentially disappoint her father. She's got a lot of things going on and um, yeah, so basically it's her journey in joining the uprising and what goes on from there. So it's 12.30 on the first day of NaNoWriMo and I've already hit um, 945 words and that's I've also worked out, had showered, made lunch, done all these other things and I just sat down and wrote 945 words and I think it's a pretty solid start to the story. I guess I already know what's happening because I outlined so thoroughly but I'm really excited about this process. It's so much fun. I just want to know what I'm going to be saying when it hits like the middle of November and I want to scrap the entire project because that's the way that it seems everyone goes. Let's see how I do. I just hit 1,802 words for the first day of NaNoWriMo. Wow, the writing is cr crappy. So, so crappy. But um, I'm getting the story out and it's following in the correct order, so I suppose that's a good sign, right? I'm on ambientmixer.com at the moment and 
I just found out about it today and it's amazing. It's atmospherical sounds if you don't know what it is. And I've been listening to Studying at Hogwarts as I've been writing and it's really been helpful. It's got like this quiet talking in the background and the scribbling with the quill and flipping of pages and everything. The grandfather the clock as well. But on this website you can do all sorts of things like um, change the sounds of each different channel like if you want to make the talking quieter and the scribbling louder you can do that and it's really helpful this is what I'm going to be writing in and I hope that it's got enough room it probably won't end up having enough room but um so I started today and I'll catch you with you tomorrow the morning of day two of NaNoWriMo and it is also my birthday but I'm still going to be writing all day because let's see if we can get heaps of words done. I've already made a good start, so that's very exciting. But wow, it's hot in Australia today. Oh. I am this close to writing the inciting incident and that's really powering me through the first act. I am so excited to get to the inciting incident because it's because it's so I can't really say anything without giving it away, but it what another character does is really cruel and unusual just because she's jealous. Day two over five thousand words written.